filled with the rapidly growing sensation that I am being watched, I decided to record a video. Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and my shoulder is looking particularly square today. I don't know why. It is Saturday the 4th of January and as such that means that this is the final day before some of the children go back to school. I have seen some children went back yesterday which just seems completely strange to me and I don't know why they bothered. I imagine it's to ease the children back into being at school after the malevolent holiday that is Christmas but it just seems completely inappropriate and silly to do so. Sorry, I closed my eyes because I was quite certain I was going to sneeze. Didn't happen. Is it too late to wish you all a happy new year? Probably. I think so. I think technically I've done that. I think I've done it enough times now, even though I did it in December. We're January now. See, that's the whole thing. The calendar time, it's all a construct. We've really no idea what year this is. Not really, not in the grand scheme of things. We're calling it 2020, 2020 to give ourselves some sort of time frame for this planet. But we've absolutely no idea really, have we? And I mean, I imagine some archaeologists out there have years and times and dates. But it's a number that we've attributed to stuff, isn't it? Really. This could be the end of times. How would we know? Just putting that out there. One of my thoughts for a Saturday morning. Should I turn a bit so that my face actually is in the light and I'm not this weird sort of Phantom of the Opera type thing? That didn't actually go any better, did it, really? What have I been up to? As you can see, I still haven't got a haircut. That has been the long-running thread throughout all of my videos in December and January. Will Charlie finally get that haircut? No. I'm considering coming to point in one day this week and getting it. It's just not happened yet. My father's currently in the hospital. We had some health news for him on Christmas Eve that was rather scary and mildly, not mildly, awfully disappointing. Let's just say it was awful. That's the word, awful. There isn't another word for it. There's only one solution to the problem. And unfortunately, that solution might not even be available. We'll see how things go. They believe he's jaundiced because of a blocked bile duct that isn't helped by the problem he's got. So my sister forced him to go there. My uncle's broken his toe falling down some stairs, so he can't walk my nan's dog or do anything. So we've had to keep going over there to walk the dog and sort my nan out as well as this last night. So it was a bit of a... Madden yesterday evening. I got home from work and I just happened to switch on my computer, watched Simon of Savage Reed's latest video. It wasn't even his latest video now because he uploaded one later on in the day. This one was about his 2020 goals for the decade, something like that. I watched that one video and then my brother walks in with my nephew. They'd come down from Northumberland had no idea that was happening. So then I had to obviously communicate with my nephew, play with him, see how Christmas went. He wasn't too happy about one question though, because apparently people have been asking him what he got for Christmas and he's a bit fed up of that. And I managed to get my question in beforehand, but by the time he was asked a third time, he did shout about everyone asking him what he got for Christmas. There's that, my nephew, the devil child. I began the new year in the living room drinking violet gin and tonic but it tasted like palmer violets whilst my mother nursed a anxious border collie you've all seen floss she does not like fireworks then we had wednesday the 1st of january in which i read don't call us dead by Dennis smith and finally finished listening to hogfather by terry pratchett only two weeks late, only a book that I'd hoped to listen to before Christmas to watch the adaptation. I have about five Christmas films that I still haven't watched. And strangely enough, I'm not fussed about watching them in January. I will do that. I do not care. 
I will extend this festive season into January whilst everybody else is at home watching Dracula. I will be watching Scrooge. Probably not. I find it's difficult to find the time. I have a book coming out. I'm supposed to be writing another one. I'm supposed to be reading books. When am I finding the time to watch films, really? If we're being honest completely. Today, I'm the tiniest bit knackered. Only a tiny bit. I kept waking up through the night, which isn't strange, to be honest, really, with everything going on. Um, I don't know how my mum's going on. She's gone out to work this morning. She hasn't slept at all. She didn't get home until four in the morning and then left again for seven. She put a pot of coffee on, which she never does, and she made that exceptionally strong. She left me a mug full and blew my neck, it blew my socks off. I will talk about the books that I read more in a wrap up than here, but I have also read The Black Flamingo by Dean Atter and I'm putting together thoughts on that one. It's one that I feel incredibly conflicted about. I think that it could be very helpful to gay black teens or even those who may be struggling with their gender identity. However, there's something about the way it's written that I have to consider before I can properly formulate my thoughts. I don't know whether it was masterful to do what they did or incredibly basic. Then we have Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs by Caitlin Doty of Ask a Mortician. I fear it may have been a one and done type book but also I could see myself revisiting it just for the answers to the questions should I ever want to research these things again but the, this is a book that's based on questions she has been asked by children. I liked the structure of this question and answer type book. I prefer Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. I haven't read the other one. Is it From Here to Eternity or something? I could very much tell the market that this book was aimed at, which isn't a problem. With most non-fiction, I expect it to still have some sort of narrative flow, so it'll have like the peaks and troughs or whatever it is of fiction and this didn't do that because obviously it's following a question and answer format. Some of the answers went off on tangents that I didn't expect them to, but it's very much written in the style of the Ask a Mortician videos, so I imagine that if you're a fan, you'll enjoy the book. Thursday, I chose not to go to the writers group, even though it's writers group were back for their first session of 2020 and their first session of a decade, you'd think that I would get there. I had decided to go to Waterstones. I forgot that it was going to be like another boxing day to people. I forgot that not everyone was back at work and school like I have been. And so I went into town expecting it to be a bit dead and it was completely jammed full of people. And I hate that. And I'd said I'd take my mum for lunch, so I did. But by the time that lunch actually came to us, which took an hour, the riders group had started and we still had to get over to Manan's. We still had to then get home, get tea done, get my mum off to work because she was working from 7 till 10 on Thursday. I've had a message that we had a new member and people have been getting in touch and saying that they enjoyed themselves, so that's something. And then in terms of writing, I have been meaning to write the entire time that I've been off but it still hasn't happened for reasons that I imagine people can probably guess at from what I have discussed in this video already and in my most recent videos where I talked about the fact that I had a cold over Christmas and uh, it doesn't even matter. I don't know why I every time I come to this video and I come to my wool gathering videos and I want to talk about my writing for whatever reason I always feel as though I've got to explain myself and explain why this writer hasn't been writing and trying to defend not doing something when my once again my only obligation is to me isn't to anyone on the other side viewing this video if that makes sense i don't know whether that makes sense i think i should probably just beg her off really that's what i'll do i hope you got something out of my meandering and until next time that is all